Welcome to a lesson on Cohen's standards for small, medium, and large effect sizes. Cohen's D, named for the United States statistician Jacob Cohen, is a measure of the distance between two means measured in standard deviations. The calculated value is then compared to Cohen's standards of small, medium, and large effect sizes shown in the table below. And keep in mind these are just guidelines. A small size of effect has a D value of approximately 0.2, a medium size of effect has a d-value of approximately 0.5, and a large size of effect has a d-value of 0.8 or more. So again, keep in mind these are just guidelines, and the sine of Cohen's d tells the direction of the effect. So for example, if the d-value is positive, the distribution being considered has a larger mean. If the d-value is negative, the distribution being considered has a smaller mean. And now let's take a look at the formulas. Cohen's D is the measure of the difference between two means divided by the pooled standard deviation. So we have D equals the difference of X bar sub one and X bar sub two divided by the pooled standard deviation. And we have two formulas for the pooled standard deviation, one for unequal group sizes and one for equal group sizes. Before we take a look at an example, let's take a look at an animation. Right now we have two distributions with the same mean we will see how changing the value of D changes the distribution being considered. Notice how as D increases, the distribution being considered has a larger mean, which we see here where the blue distribution is moving toward the right. So here's a D value of 0.2, which is considered small. We change D to 0.5. This is considered a medium effect. Notice how the mean has changed from 70 to 75. And if we set D equal to 0 0.8, we have what's considered a large effect, where in this case, the mean has increased from 70 to 78. Notice how when D is equal to one, the distribution considered has a mean one standard deviation larger than the original distribution. Where you can see here, the standard deviation or pool standard deviation is 10 since 80 minus 70 is equal to 10. And notice how when D is negative, the distribution being considered has a smaller mean. So let's take a look at an example. We're asked to calculate Cohen's D. Is the size of effect small, medium, or large? Explain what the size of the effect means for this problem. So here we have some data from a previous problem where we have one sample where the sample size is 11, the sample mean is four, and the sample standard deviation is 1.5. For the second sample, the sample size is n, the sample mean is 3.5, and the sample standard deviation is one. We'll begin by determining the pooled standard deviation for an unequal group sizes because we have a sample size of 11 and a sample size of nine. And I've already set this up on the next slide where I've replaced n sub one and s sub one with n sub a and s sub a, and n sub two and s sub two with n sub b and s sub b, which is already shown here below. Taking the square root of this quotient gives us approximately 1.3017, which I've already calculated here. Now that we have the pooled standard deviation, we now find the difference of the means and divide by the pooled standard deviation. So letting x bar sub one equal x bar sub a and x bar sub two equal x bar sub b, Cohen's D is equal to the quantity four minus 3.5 divided by 1.3017, which is approximately 0 0.384. Notice how this value is between the small and medium effect. And since it doesn't reach the medium effect, we will say the effect is small because 0 0.384 is between Cohen's value of 0 0.2 for small effect size and 0 0.5 for medium effect size the size of the differences of the means is small, indicating there's not a significant difference between them. I hope you found this helpful.